Hi, I'm Ivan Mikolji. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified on new episodes of The Fish Guys. Bueno, bueno. Equipo de filmación y de video, subacuático. Quédate, quédate. Looks like a charm, isn't it? Yeah. He's confused, but he goes, okay. Now, if I were him, I'd go, that's an awful big box. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a big box for some masks. Yeah, right. Some fins. You open it up and there's no mask, no fins. That's, that's one big box, though. Yeah. yeah. We should take the fishing pole and prop it up so it's more visible. But it's on my side, right? Yes. If they just look in, they'll yes. see it. Yeah, but I'd say stick the top up. What does Machado say about this region for fish? Have you ever discussed it with him? I asked him before I came here. We got uh, until we before we came here uh, four days ago. Yeah. I asked him what to expect down here, and he said uh, expect few fish. He said there's some really interesting fish that have not been described yet, but you just won't find a large amount. Yeah. Now he said on the way there, you, you, you know, you got a couple of things, you know, but I really doubt that this has been really well investigated. I really doubt it. Because I've known Tafford. I actually, Lasso and Tafford, I think, are the only people that have ever been down here. Doing this. Right. Probably the people that describe the pump plugger. Um, Who did that? Provenzano described it, but there was there's another person that brought it in. I don't know who brought it in. Because the person that found it is not the person that describes it. Right. Normally. Uh, but Provenzano did describe it. Yes. What was the story there with the name, the controversy? He changed it to Ancestress, or no, to, yeah, some Ancestress. Um, they put another name on it of somebody that had found an Ancestress in the lower waters. Somebody had described an Ancestress from there, right. that area. Right. So, so per, they, Perisano described a new genus, G -G, right. but because there was something described from the area and supposedly there's nothing else in the area, uh, they thought that... The, the, the species name has got to re reside. It's got to exactly. reside. Exactly. So yep. the species, at least. Yes. So, so yes. you know, they, they kept the, gen, the genera, but they, the genus, but they right. changed the species. But now that Taffern described one from the other side, from Guyana... Right. That is probably that fish? They don't know which one it is, so uh, now it went back because they don't know which one is which. Got it. Got it. There's no way they can tell which one was the one. So, yes. right. so that so, it's, oh, right. loses all the scientific. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Have you ever, look, we really need gas now. We're really low on gas. Uh, is this Guapatia? Why don't you ask this guy for the gas station? Why don't you ask him? About the gas station? Yeah. Um, I <laughs> thought that if we would ask him, they would stop us. Uh, I'd rather you know, yeah, ask somebody right. else. After he stops you, then you ask him. Hey, yeah, that, that makes sense.
this is the deal in, in, in Venezuela, the gas is practically for free. It's like 20 cents to fill up your tank. Yeah, two cents a gallon. So they, so people just go to the gas station, fill up their tanks, um, go home, siphon it into a bucket or something or container, and then drive that gas across the border three hours away and sell it for international price. So the gas lines are just crazy with people just filling up their cars. And the closer you get to the border, Guiana or Brazil, the longer the lines. They have guards in these um, gas stations and national guards. And they write down the license plate numbers. Yeah, yeah to see how many times you fill up. But you know what, I bet, I bet, there's like, it's a business, there's a guy who buys it wholesale, he runs around and collects it, drops it in his drums, and he takes all the risk, and he's the one who runs it in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not to film because it's, it's a big problem for them if they, if they see him in the gas. I said, don't, please don't do it. Este es un fundo que está por aquí metido, una broma, porque está cerca, este sí está cerca, es el fundo. Viste. Aquí arranca tu manera de morrar la, la, la chicharra. Me parece hasta el fondo la chicharra. ¿Qué es esto? Para después acordarme. ¿Qué es esto? 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 ¿Qué es Okay, what do you, what, ask him what he thinks about going to the end of the road and going trying to get to the end of this river. Okay, ¿qué pasaría si él se va hasta el final de esta carretera y llega y trata de llegar aquí? Santa Maria. ¿Trata de llegar aquí? Sí. ¿Con los indios? With the Indians you can. Yeah. Yeah. Sí, yeah. hay indios yeah. por demás. ¿Pero ¿Cuán, cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo? De repente, de repente cuatro horas llegas ahí. Four you, hours. Sí. A este, a este río que pasa aquí, que este es grande, ¿cuál es que es este? See, you, you, know these, you know these rivers extend further than they're drawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Just yes. like yes. 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 right? Yes. So the question is, I say it's worth a shot getting to the end of the road and going to the Indians and saying, you know, you, you, you show us clear water with, <coughs> with Amira in it and we pay you whatever. Or you give them the bullshit thing or we're doing a film, you know. Esta carretera que viene para acá. Esta carretera que tú ves aquí, esta carretera viene para acá, ve para el mar. Viene, esta carretera This viene para acá, para el mar. Sí. Esta está coast. To the coast. Ok, sí. then why did you say we had to walk Entonces, eight hours? Entonces, ¿por qué dice que hay que caminar y no agarrar un carro o un bote? No, porque esta carretera está terminada hasta aquí. Ajá. Pero de aquí para acá es selva y está topografiada todo hasta el mar. Está topografiada, pero nunca existió. No, no, esa tiene todos los papeles y todo. En estos días cuando... Cuando pero no está hecha. No está hecha, pero cuando ganó Chávez, Ajá. tú sabes que están con el problema, que la hacían por el mal, Ajá. la hacían por, por, por el palmal o la hacían por aquí. Ajá. Pero por aquí es más fácil porque está topografiada y tiene los pilotines y todo ahí en ha puesto okay. y todo. Okay. Pero es lejito. Pero no, no, no hay carretera, no existe. No existe la carretera. Yeah, it doesn't exist. They never made it. They, it was a project, oh. but they never made it. Okay, so it's irrelevant yeah. to us. Yes, so it's irrelevant to us. Yeah. Okay. Y para acá no serán cristalinas ninguna de estas aguas. No, no, no. Carretera. No, 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 para ahí no hay ninguna agua cristalina. Todas las aguas son oscuras. All this dirty sí. water. All dirt, dark son waters. Oscuras. He's saying dark waters. Yes, yeah, understood. Um, now, he, he says he, everything in this area, up here, yes. everything is clear. Yeah. Up to Dorqueta, that's the prettiest one. Yeah. The biggest river with Aymaras in it. But. Y, y, y esta. Esta es cristalina en un tiempo, cuando es verano, porque cuando es invierno, todo oscura. Y esta es solo en la primera temporada, en la primera temporada. Sí, yeah. 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 cuando es verano. Para acá, para acá tampoco vamos a conseguir aguas cristalinas con Aymaras, aquí de este lado. No, por ninguna parte así. Por ninguna parte. No. El único río más claro cristalino es el kilómetro 88, Las Claritas. Las Claritas y ahí no hay Aymaras. Sí. Y aquí no hay Aymaras. Ok. Sí. Esto va a ir a Curoni. Right? Is that what this is right here on the border? Ese es el Cuyuni? Cuyuni. No, mm -hmm. no Cuyuni. Pues este es el Cuyuni. ¿Dónde va el Cuyuni ahí? El Cuyuni tiene que ser todo este que viene pasando por aquí. Okay, on the border. Todo este que viene chorreando, chorreando, chorreando. Por aquí se abre uno 
y por aquí parte otro que tiene que este tiene que agarrar. It's the border. It makes the border okay, for Venezuela. Okay, okay, I got it. So, so this is Queenie here. Okay, they show <coughs> this running here. I see, and then they come together. I, I just wanted to connect the rivers. I understand. Porque viene gente por Juni hasta una cierta parte, oíste. Okay, this, this is going to drain into otro, here. Otro, otro, otro ese equivo. Sí. Okay. O algo así. ¿no? Sí, sí. Clara. Porque okay. por ejemplo, ya está, hay que dice que río Cuyuni. Mira, ve. Más manzano. Ya aquí es este es el que Yuruari, ¿no? Yuruani, Yuruani. Sí. sí. Eso no lo ve la grasa. Te puy. Es este ya viene, viene le dimos. Ya ya el Cuyuni por aquí ya. No. Ojo. Viste. Yo sé que después que pasa por aquí una parte, por aquí esa ya esto que este que pasa este puro puro morichalones por aquí pura sabana. No. If it's if it's if it's if the sun is shining, it is a beautiful day. Ahí no tiene pel, mira. You do it, you do it then. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, tranquilo. Okay, El Dorado Swamp. What do you think is in there? In that swamp? Yeah. A lot of golden swamps, full of gold and diamonds, emeralds, all the treasures you could. Make. All right, where's the where's the town of El Dorado here? Okay, at last we could get the gas. I thought we were going to be stranded. That's good. We got some contraband gas. Yeah. So now we can head on. Now we got Aymaras and Clearwaters. It's it's just good to know that they exist. For true, one, true, true, true. That's just good to know that they that exists. It's not a myth, right? And it does exist. And well, uh, gonna, what time do you want to wake up? Five thirty? Yeah. Five thirty in the morning and yeah, yeah, yeah. head south towards the Lost Land. There's not a road in this whole region. It's all in the water. It's all delta. No, no, below the delta. I think it's all Delta still. Mountains, sir. Oh yeah, that, that's a mountain range. Yeah, but around here. This is Guiana. The end of the road here, man. I'm, I'm. We're pretty close by to Guyana. We could drive what? Three hours and be on the border. Easy, easy. God knows, God knows what those roads are like. I mean, it's it's closer by than Brazil. Yeah. Brazil, we have what six hours to go. From here, yes. Or from there, from yeah, here. From yes. here, we have yes. six hours to Brazil. Yes. Now, in the last land, you want to stay. You want to. Where, where's the area you wanted to go? I want to stay in Jordi. Jordi. Yeah. Either here or in Luaja. Either. Okay. One of these. Okay. There's there's a hotel here if we need to stay. If not, we'll go off roading and go somewhere around here. I go for the off roading. Okay. We yeah. sleep. We sleep at the bush okay. tomorrow night. Yes. And if we drain the batteries the next day or whatever, then we head on back to a hotel. I don't think that's a problem. We got char what charger is it during the day and with the converter. With what gas? With the engine turned there's on. I know. But does, does your cigarette layers work when the ignition is turned off? No. Well, there's two solutions for that. One. Find a hot wire and do a little modification. Yeah. Or we just stay one of the nights in a hotel yeah. once yeah. everything sure. is drained. Sure. The next night, every other night. Yeah, every other night we stay in a hotel. But the, the very next day, well, we're good. Okay, whatever. Okay, I've got five batteries for the video camera. We'll say. So your opinion is if there are Aymaras or they can find a spot with Aymaras in clear water, stop. Yes. Yes. Yes, because and head down to the lost land any other day. Then the next, have a day later. Okay. You know, because there's no guarantee you're, you're gonna conditions are gonna be the same. And when you come back, what's your window of opportunity? The present time. And if it's not good, now you're into clock ticking with with no alternative. Now, is it a must for you? I mean, I, I'm viewing probably Rombeus or uh, Sarasamos in Himani, like a piranha, like a strange piranha, yes, more being, valuable than Moramara. I, I you agree. really, 
you Aymara seems like a trophy, and I don't know why. I think it's just like extremely unique footage. Giant wolfish. Nobody's got it underwater. Yeah, well, I know one guy's got it. I saw one on YouTube. That's what I'm talking about. One guy's got. I remember fish. Oliver's got it underwater, nice. but it was Brazil. It's the same fish. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's Q U. Q U R. Obviously, Aymara. Yes, it's not. They re they reclassify it. And the Brazil one, the Brazil ones are not aware. It's C U C U Q Q U R I B. You know what I mean? That's okay, so it's not an Aymara. Does it have? The, it does not have the dot. Oh, it doesn't have the dot. Does not have the dot. Okay, so there's no pictures of it, probably. Okay. Oliver's got one in the book. You said it doesn't have the black dot. Okay, it doesn't have the dot. So it's not Aymara. It's not Aymara. Okay, so there's probably no pictures of it. There's a video okay. of that guy on YouTube on Aymara. On Aymara. Ah. How big, how big does Oliver's thing look like? No, there's a, there's a, I sent you a link years ago of... That YouTube video. Of fishing. It was fishing. Yeah, it's a guy who's trying to... A spirit. Spirit. Yeah, right. Underwater, yeah. God, why didn't we ever contact him by the way it was? Well, uh, he didn't fly there. Well, he's probably in Brazil somewhere. Yeah, it's probably, it probably is in Brazil. But it's probably the same fish. Oh, no. I'll go back to that argument. No, no probably not. So there is no, okay, I got you. So there is no Aymara 2. Bring back your ass. So, okay, so that's, that seems like something that a lot of people want to do. Or you want to do. Well, listen, let's say you got a river monster show, and they've got... They need the Aymara. Everybody needs They've got Aymara. Yeah, they all And you're fishing for them in my water. You don't think a little email to the producer going, hey, I'd like to order a video of this fish. Yeah, yeah, well done, yeah. I, I, I really don't think it's relevant either if it's I'm six just, feet tall or two or long or two yeah, feet tall. I, I agree. just think anything over a foot. That was my point. I totally agree. So we should go down there and try to get it in those, in that area. And at Los Claros? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's the only shot I see. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna walk for, not in this trip, I don't wanna walk for four days. And four days back. No, but. Eight day walk. No, 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 no. In the bush with all the. No, uh, no, 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 no. But I would, I don't think it's unreasonable to shoot in afternoon. Driving to the end of their road, having a talk with the Indians. On the way back. On the way back. Okay, now. Okay. We, we can stop here in the Clarita and ask, okay? Yes. We do that tomorrow. Right? That's here. Yeah, we do that tomorrow. It's only 110 kilometers. South of here? No. Scratch that. Scratch that. Fine. Only 110 kilometers. <laughs> it's a couple <laughs> hours. A <laughs> couple <laughs> hours. <laughs> now it's not. We're 2,000 kilometers into this already. Now. All right. Um, okay, so tomorrow we head south through uh, 110, 1752. You know, since you brought that hard drive, 70. there's so many cables in here. Yeah. Okay, one hour to El Dorado. Two hours to less, no, hour and a half to less Clarence. That's clever guess. Okay? Okay. Oh, and this one's not it. Well, that's just perfect. You got another short river that runs into the Pyrenees. Right by the road. I bet you the headwaters cross the road. Okay. What? Anacoco? Anacoco. Sarah Salmo's Anima. That's an island. The only place where it's been, it, it has been seen. Okay, you understand that the road to that place is 10 minutes south of where we're sitting right now. But they told me, they told us the island of Anacoco 
Is it the same thing on the map? Yes. So it's the same spot? Yes. We should probably call him the title right now and ask him. Well, no, no, it is. Like Island of Anacoco, right here. Okay, and that's what he said. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's how much, how far away is it from here? Ten minutes. Do you want to go right now? What time is it? It's five o'clock. Dark no, in an hour, no. Dark, dark. Yeah. Right, no, no, no. The, the road to it is ten minutes south of here. The road to get there is 61 kilometers, or under an hour. If it's a dirt road, probably more, right? Yeah, sure. You bet probably, we'll probably lose three or four hours doing that. Sure, but you bet your ass, but that's how you can win. But we have, that's a big run. run. That's okay. on the yeah. list. We do the lost land, and then we do whatever. Promise? You okay. So, what do you think we could do in the lost land? Well, it's a loose place. It's never we've never been place. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm waiting to get down south into these smaller rivers. Still searching for service? Yeah, it's going to search for the next 10 days. Um, there, there was that one spot that I had that I really... <laughs> that like I was, us looking for gas. Yes. I can't believe you pulled through that one town and didn't get gas. We had less than half a tank. You and took the that second one with a quarter, and the third yeah, one with yeah, almost yeah. nothing. Good point. Okay, now it's red, which means they're so sick. What'd you get for dinner? Well, for dinner, I brought you purple soda. Supposedly, it's grape soda. Grape soda? <laughs> And then they bought two waters, Republican soda, Chamariba. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And half the chicken. Half the chicken. You want breast, right? Here's your breast. I don't, I mean, I'll, I'll take the other one tonight. I'll t I, don't, I don't care. Pick one. Which one do you like better? Uh, dark meat. I had that for a while. We'll just rotate. I don't care at all. has cabbage salad and two bottles of water. What is this, yucca? That it is boiled. Had it first. You gotta eat it fast. That is boiled um, corn dough. They got corn dough. Make it like round sticks or whatever. Yeah, cut it boil like it, and then they just chop it up like a banana. So there's your carb, your carbohydrates, and they have some sauce in there, which looks really green. <laughs> when it and green? it smells like garlic and um, cilantro. Was it green when you left the restaurant? It was green. Yes. <laughs> See what the sauce tastes like. It's good. Hmm. The guy have any more words of wisdom? What? The guy have any more words of wisdom? Mm-hmm. Mm, of course. Is that? I told him, look. So, you know somebody that's been bitten by a piranha? I said yes, my brother. The Kuyuni, we were putting a net, big round net, right. and we we're taking them out, yep. and he grabbed it, and it just bit him right here in the palm of his hand. Yep. He said, I was amazed at how much blood was coming out. He said, it was squirting and squirting yep. and squirting yeah, yeah, yeah. and squirting. And he put, he put his finger on it and it would stop, and yep. 
take it off and it's just squirting, squirting, squirting. It was, they, they had to take it to the hospital because there was no way to yeah. stop yeah. applying the pressure and just get going up. But he said he made sure that before he left, he killed the Korean. He said, he killed him. He was really proud of saying that the, his brother killed the Quran before, you know. So, um, that's a macho man. Probably. So they killed the piranha, but he got hurt. They took him to the hospital. And uh, he was saying that they're huge and that there's no fishmongers here where we could go see what type of species of piranhas there are. He says all the fish that come from here, they bring from the Paragua. Nobody fishes around here. So I told him, okay, what about in the Cuyuni if we go down? Kuyuni River. Right. He said all the people are dedicating and, and smuggling gas to Guyana. That's why the gas is the gas stations are shutting. The government is shutting them down on the weekends and everything because everybody's buying gas and, and restricting just, the supply. Yeah, they're just buying gas and taking it to the Guyana border and selling it ten times more yeah. than what they pay for. Yeah. You know, they pay twenty cents a drum here. <clears throat> They pay a dollar a drum. Dollar a drum. Yeah, they pay a dollar a drum and then they sell it probably for fifty dollars a drum. Yeah. And so they, they fill up ten drums and they go. Yeah. You know? It's a no-brainer. So he says all the boats in the Cuyuni stopped fishing because all they do is put that, go to Anacoco, drop it off on the other side, yeah. and go back. And that's that's all they do all day long. I guess. So they're not fishing now. No, we gotta find a fisherman. It's it's <clears throat> how priorities change, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Money's always kinda of close to the top. So he told us that the kids that sold us the gas, that's what they do all day. They get on a small car, they fill up the tank, they take it to their house, take the gas out, leave like two years in their gallon, go back in line, take it out. So they're doing this all day and all day and all day, you know, and after a week they have a couple of drums and then they take it to the border. So that's why the kids didn't want you to film them. It's just gas smuggling. Anything more about the fish? Hmm. He said that, he asked him, hey, um, I imagine Aymars feed um, during the night is more than during the day. We're trying to fish them, right? right. He said, for sure. You, I said, I, I see them in the water, you know, when it's crystal clear up there in those things. You see those big things. He said, this way, look at this. You see these Aymaras this big. What diameter? 30 pound Aymaras, yeah. you know, 40 pound Aymaras, yeah. he says. And we get a big piece of bait and we throw it in front of it. And you know, we bring it right in front of its right. mouth and we drop it and its mouth's just like this and right. they won't take it. So, so what we did was we found a spot where it was really shallow and we just shot it with a shotgun. So six eleven in the morning. Second or the third day of driving? Third day of driving, right? Yeah. 